Hi Psychic America, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today, May, oh, don't, wait, May 16th, today's May 16th, yesterday was my dad's birthday, who has passed away, but for some reason, we're all very sensitive to my dad's birthday, and um, all of us, like we're all very sensitive, so it's seems to be a big deal when his birthday comes around. We're like, oh, it's Poppy's birthday in a week. And it's like, oh, Poppy's birthday in two days. And oh, it's Poppy's birthday. In any case, then the day it comes, he's kind of very, very popular on the internet. In any case, yesterday was my dad's birthday. Who has passed away? And he was significant in a lot of people's lives, which is why we kind of make a big deal over it. In any case, happy birthday, Daddy. Um... Miss you, miss you, miss you. Okay, so today, more on Beyonce, Solange, and Jay-Z. More. <laughs> I told you I was going to do a lot more of these. Um, but today, Rachel Roy, you're up for a psychic review. Rachel, you're up for a psychic review. Because you started this whole mess. Because I just got word today from one of my psychic detectives, thank you, thank you, thank you, psychic detectives, that Rachel may have been flirting with Jay-Z during the Met Gala, and that Beyonce got the balls to say something, that's, that, that's what I really find hard, that's what I should be, like, doing, did Beyonce really have the guts to say something to Rachel Roy? That's hard to believe, don't believe it for a minute, I think, okay, I think what happened is that Ray, uh, Beyonce told Solange that Rachel's flirting with her husband. I think that Solange told Jay, what the hell are you doing? I think then Jay told Solange, stay the fuck out my business. And then... Kind of like, 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 kind of like that, like, not really. But then he announced that he was going to go to Riri's party, and then that turned the tables with that whole elevated thing. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's not psychic. That's just like, you know, I'm not always a psychic. Sometimes I just like to gossip. <laughs> In any case, that's what I think. That's what I think happened. Um, however, Rachel, you're up for psychic review. And here's what we're going to do with Rachel. So, you put out this stupid tweet. Like, most of you people are so stupid. She put out this stupid tweet referencing one of Jay's songs. Time to Go to the Beach or something like that, which is in his Holy Grail Magna Carta album, blah, 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 right? Um, and this was after, I think it was after the Met Gala thing or after the scandal came out. I can't tell you which one. You know I never do my homework. <laughs> I mean, I get with me, I'm like reading, but I should be taking notes. Um, I, I have to go to psychic journalist, you know, classes to like remember, it doesn't matter. In any case, she put out this tweet um, about like going to the beach or something like that, which is the same exact title of... Um, Jay's song on his album Holy Grail Magna Carta blah 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 and when you tick, click on it it's actually her beach wear but then beehives be, the beehives <laughs> see I did my homework oh, with my, my psychic detectives boy they do they educate me you're pronouncing her name wrong it's not bae it's bee okay so the beehives went after Rachel um and now she's afraid that her line her clothing line could get compromised. And maybe it should. Maybe it should. Maybe, maybe this could be a lesson learned for you, Rachel, that when you have a business to protect, protect your business. And maybe flirting with Bay's um, husband was not a good thing. You know, there's a lesson in everything. Maybe it just wasn't a, a good a good look for you, a good move for you. Because now she's concerned because she put out this, you know, go to the beach tweet. 
And then beehives, beehives people went after her. And now she's thinking, oh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, so here's what I'm going to check. Rachel, is your clothing line now compromised? Is it? Should it be? Is it and should it be? Rachel, I got to tell you. Um, you know, who cares? I have nothing to tell you. You knew exactly what you were doing that day at the Met Gala, and you didn't give a shit. So, I have nothing to say. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying our, you know, um, we are responsible for ourselves. We have to learn to be responsible for ourselves. And this is a bad lesson for not taking <sighs> taking responsibility for. Because, you know, was it just me or did no one else understand why Solange went after Rachel Roy? I was totally confused by it, although I didn't check it psychically. Um, no, I wish I had. Psychic detectives, you learn to ask me the right questions. What was Rachel's involvement? I would have checked it. I just didn't think to check it. So now I'm not going to check her involvement. We kind of know what her involvement is. I'm just going to check to see if your coding line is compromised. Ten. You come across as a temptress. temptress. So with that being said, this card represents um, some responsibility that you had at the Met Gala, but it's also coming up in my past position, it's in my past position, so you won't be a problem any longer, forever. Um, is your clothing line, hmm. know if you're married um Rachel Ray or if you're dating somebody I'd like to know who you're dating your relationship is compromised you know if I think you were married you were married to Damon Dash I don't think you are anymore if I remember correctly um and I don't know if you're in a relationship right now but if you were trying to establish something with somebody um there'll be changes in your relationship status um if you were trying to um date someone um, there is some sort of past between you and Jay, by the way. There is some sort of past between you and Jay. Hmm. There is some sort of, oh dear. There is some sort of past between you and Jay. Um, I know that there was a situation between Jay and Damon Dash. Um, not being partners anymore. I gotta be honest with you. I think Rachel Ray was part of that separation. Not that they broke up because Jay was having an affair with Damon Dash's wife. That's not why they broke up. But, they're, according to the cause, there's a high likelihood that there was a, re, uh, a, a relationship between Jay and Damon Dash's wife that... Cause the friendship to break down between Damon Dash and Jay because Jay was using Rachel to get information and she gave it up. Pretty deep. Oh dear. Pretty deep. I'm telling you, this shit is not going to go away. I'm telling you. I'm still trying to look at a clothing line. I'm not trying to see all this other crap that's coming out. Rachel, I got to tell you, oh God, Rachel, you're not a good person at all. Um, I think what may have gone down, I, don't, I can't promise that Jay and Beyonce was already married. I think this may have occurred um, prior to that. I think they might have been dating but not married. Um, you're not a good person, Rachel, at all. I see why Solange did what she did. You're not, you're not a good person. Um, you're not a good person, young lady. You are not a good person. Um, I think your, your ex-husband needs to check you twice because some, you're, something is not right with you. Um, I 
there's some sort of business dealing that either Rachel is looking forward to or something to that fact with Jay. That's what I think is getting compromised. There was some sort of uh, um, agreement, business agreement. It, it's kind of like, if this happens, then Rachel gets the benefit from this happening. Something like that. Um, it won't happen now. Whatever agreement you had with Jay that has something to do with your clothing line, um, that part of the deal is, is going awry. Um, and I keep getting the beach. I keep getting the beach, which means it has something to do with their tour. Their tour. Their tour, which begins in June, which also begins summertime beach wear. Um, there's some sort of agreement. Um, and it's, it's out the water now. It won't happen. It won't happen. Will your money be compromised? Will your line be compromised? I have to say yes. I get the tower card. I have to say the celebration. This is the celebration at the Met Gala is the reason why it gets compromised. You're actually looking at your finances right now. And although it's consistent right now, it will definitely change. You know, there's no reason. I get 70 cards in a deck. There's no reason ever for me to pull the tower card. Um, so when I do, there is a problem. So... With that being said, the tables have turned, the Wheel of Fortune, which is normally a money card, but it's also, it turns, the wheel turns. The wheel can turn for the better, and the wheel can turn for the worse in terms of your finances. But because I get the Wheel of Fortune in the same placement as the Tower card, um, it definitely means that your relationship with Jay is suspect lovers depending upon what the cards are around lovers card tends to mean um something bigger something bigger um it's not about being in love the lovers card usually means something is in the middle something stands in the middle it's usually not a good thing your hopes and desires on on your clothing line it will fall apart based upon something that has gone on between you and jay um how many children do you have how many children do you have? Um, do you have three three children, boys, boys? Um, three children or boys? Three children or boys? Um, I would say somebody should do a DNA test on, you know, one of those, whatever. I don't know how many children you have. I'm just getting a boy, and that it, one of them may not even be Damon Dash's um, child. Why am I getting all this information? Damn it! Um, you seem to be in the company of wealth. But it's going to come to the point, Rachel, that we may not hear from you and your clothing line ever again. Um, you will struggle. You will struggle. You will struggle to keep yourself afloat. So I don't know how you can save your clothing line at this point. Um, I do feel like you hold some secrets. No different than Solange holds secrets. Um, I think it's unfortunate that you're in the middle of this. But I also think you've been in the middle of this for for years now. Like, I don't know how long you guys have been friends. I'm getting 20 years. You've kind of been in the middle of some skankiness here. I'm not calling you a skank. I'm saying the situation is a little skanky. <sighs> I'm just going to, yeah, there's a, there's a child that doesn't matter. There's a child that's significant here. I think there should be a DNA test on all three of your children, Damon, to be honest with you. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how to end this. I just think that you're, you're, you're surrounded around so much conflict and so much controversy. I don't think the public is going to let it go. And I think you become the biggest victim in this, which means Jay goes on with his life, Solange goes on with her life, Beyonce goes on with her tour, and you, Rachel Ray, your company, and you, you get compromised. So that's it. I don't know how to end this. It's Tracy Brown. Call me for your own personal readings at 818-985-2010. I don't know how to end this. Rachel Ray, your company's in trouble. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye.